hello vlog it is Janae welcome welcome back or if it's my future self hello glad you're watching my old videos this video is going to be my grad school application process it's kind of a reaction video it's kind of not I started the video whenever I was still doing my applications and was starting to get results and anytime I got a result of some sort I record it I recorded some clips from like my interview process. Just some context, I'm a senior right now at Vanderbilt University and I'm applying to actually PhD programs. One master's, but the goal is to get into a doctoral program. I study psycholinguistics, which is the psychology of language. And so my work is very research focused and I want to continue doing my research in grad school. I applied to both psychology and linguistics programs. So if the advisor was in psychology, I applied to psychology at that, that school. And if the advisor was in Linguistics, I apply to linguistics. Yeah, I guess I'll get on with the video so you can guys see how, so you guys can see how that all went for me. Alrighty, today is December 11th. It's Monday and I did not expect that the first clip of this video would be in December because I'm still in the process of applying to some schools, but I had already submitted UT Austin in November. I'm filming this now because I got a notification from UT Austin. Here we go. The, um, what do you call it? The subject, sorry. The subject says UT Austin Psychology Visit Day. Dear Janae, I'm delighted to inform you that you've been selected to visit the unit, visit with the University of Texas at Austin Department of Psychology's faculty and students at our virtual Zoom graduate session. So yeah, I guess I, continued on in the rounds for UT Austin. I think the fact that I got invited is great. And UT Austin is one of the schools that I think is probably my one of my top choices. So I'll have to go through, I guess, this little recruitment day and whatnot and probably an interview later down. I look crusty, but here's an update. It is, what's today? Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know either. December 15th? And I got a notification from Iowa and it said, essentially, I'm going to have an interview in person at Iowa. And so that's good news. I'm also very surprised that I'm getting decisions back because the winter break hasn't even really started. But this isn't really a decision, it's interview. So, so far I have two. Okay, here's an update. Today is, um, I don't know what day. It's like two days after Christmas, December 27th. And I just got an email on my phone from University of Houston and I'm invited to their prospective student day. Yay! So there's another milestone. And theirs is in January, so they're gonna be the first ones. And then early February is UT Austin's, and then later February, or no, two weeks after, is University of Iowa. So I, I basically got an interview for all three psychology programs I applied to. I haven't heard from any linguistic programs, so I don't know what the, if they're reading extra deep in my application. Here is an update. It is January 10th, and I got a notification from both UPenn Linguistics and U Chicago Linguistics that I'll be doing interview. So this is good news. So far I have interviews for five out of the six PhD programs I applied for. And I'm assuming the master's programs won't reach out for a while because their application isn't even due yet, even though I turned it in early. These interviews will be virtual and it's gonna be happening within the next two weeks. So I'll update you guys whenever I have to do those interviews. Here's an update. It is January 12th. I think it's Friday. So I got a notification from Northwestern Linguistics that I have like, I'm invited to like an open house interview and it's the same exact day as like the one I already committed to for Iowa. So I'm very excited because that means I have interviews for all the PhD programs I applied for, but I don't know, you know, I might be missing out on visiting Northwestern because I already committed to visiting somewhere else at the same time. So I will update you guys on how that goes, but I, I don't know, I don't know anymore. We'll see. Alrighty guys, it is January 18th and it is my first interview in literally like five minutes. It's for UPenn Linguistics. It's only gonna be like 30 minutes. I've talked with them before, before I applied. So I guess I'm a little nervous, more just about explaining myself but everything's in here somewhere i just gotta express it and so it's on zoom i'm gonna do it and i'll update you guys we're back so the interview's done it went overall pretty good i can tell that um 
like they enjoyed speaking with me and they all seem so nice like I think I would genuinely enjoy working with all of the faculty that were on the meeting I only, I only had some like minor hiccup because I think where I'm at now is I'm just like applying to so many different places and just like the structure is so different depending on whether it's psychology or linguistics and some have concentrations and some have certificates and I would just get it all confused so I had a tiny bit of confusion but they clarified clarified it for me. I really hope tomorrow's interview is the same. You Chicago. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello everyone. I'm back. It is the next day, January nineteenth, same time, two p.m. And today's my interview for You Chicago. It's online. I'm literally wearing the same top. Like I literally just throw on this top anytime I have an interview, so I can look nice, at least from the waist up. You Chicago. I haven't spoke with any of them yet. Like with other schools, I kind of reached out to like some of the professors before I even applied but this is one of the schools where I just like I just kind of just applied to see what happens so I don't really know who I'm talking to just yet um but yeah a little nervous of course but I got my notes uh, I will update you guys it should only be like 30 minutes so the meeting's over it was pretty good I will say like I've gotten better even just since yesterday at explaining like my research and what I want to do and why I like the program so if, like on my end it was very helpful and they seem very like into it I would say compared to yesterday the the vibe felt a little different like since I like talked to a couple of the people at UPenn before it was like it was super like welcoming like oh yeah we remember you da, da. it was like it felt very like more bubbly and happy but this one felt more like stern they were like okay let, let's get started and we went straight into the questions a couple of giggles and laughs here but for the most part it's like super serious done with interviews for next week my next one is actually in person it's next week at university of houston i'll probably vlog some of that so everyone here is an update um today is january 27th it's saturday and i just finished my university of houston interview visit i'm actually here right now it's quite nice this is my first in-person visit it basically lasted like thursday and friday thursday i had like an interview with the pi of the lab i applied to and a couple of the grad students there and then the next day i interviewed more faculty in the department and we all like hung out at the end of the day honestly a very successful interview weekend it was only a little overwhelming because it was in person but everyone is insanely nice the lab is so good it university of houston went above my expectations especially the department and it's definitely up there on my list now and so today um i'm checking out and since i'm like from around the area i'm gonna go back home for the weekend This is the reaction to you, Chicago. Wait, close this. I got an email saying, saying a decision's been made. I don't know what decision, but a decision's been made. Let's see, guys, what happened. I don't know how they do it. Oh, view this update. This is welcome. Oh yeah, we did it. Says, <laughs> I only saw congratulations, so I didn't, I didn't read it. Thanks for the congratulations, Eli. On behalf of the faculty of the Division of Humanities. You sick? Let me read it. <laughs> Dear Janae, congratulations! <laughs> congratulations! This was quite a quick turnaround. Very good. Yay! Okay. Oh, what else? I see dollar signs. Hold on. Yeah. Hello. Today is Friday, February second. And I should have filmed this earlier because today has been like my UT Austin virtual recruitment day. And so all day from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. I have like interviews, like lab visits, program overviews, student life panels for UT Austin psychology. 
I already had two interviews. I had one interview with one of the faculty and then another faculty at 1015. And I'm about to like go right back in because there's like a wellness break. And then I'm gonna have like an interview with the faculty I directly applied to around noon. And so yeah, so far it's been going really well. I think like every time I have these like interviews where I start talking to people, my like the, the program goes up on my list. I usually have like these like perceptions or ideas about the program and then I'm like, uh, it's okay. That's how I felt about UT Austin. But now like talking to people, everyone's quite chill and nice and they have decent resources. So it's, it's gonna make my decision harder, but I'm glad that there are just really good options. Hello everyone. It's February 6th and the last time you guys saw me, I was doing my UT Austin all day interview and I just have like a lot of updates um, I forgot to update you guys on Northwestern because that date clashes with the time I'm going to Iowa this weekend, but I've been talking to professors and also students virtually, so instead of going in person to Northwestern, I've just been setting up times to talk with faculty, and so I talked with one of the faculty last week, and I just got off of a call with a student, and so I'm having these like formal informal interviews just to understand more about the program in terms of Northwestern. Also, I got invited to go to UT Austin, I'm not in yet, but to go to UT Austin, even after all that virtual recruitment, they want me to come for one day and that's gonna happen March 1st. So there's that. I'm just really busy with everything, just a lot of like interviews, informal talks, talking with grad students. I'm getting some admissions letters here. Some programs are not even hearing back from, so it's just, it's a lot, it's a lot. But during my talk just now with, um, the Northwestern grad student, I see an email pop up from one of the lab advisors, PI from UPenn Linguistics. And it, it kind of looked like good news. So we're gonna open that up. Dear Janae, I'm delighted to extend an informal offer of admission to the PhD program in linguistics at the University of Pennsylvania with a formal offer letter soon. We did it. We did it, Joe. We did it. I'm actually quite, I feel like I don't get really um, emotional or explosive, but I'm actually very happy right now, even though it's kind of sounded sarcastic. Oh, wow. This is crazy. Essentially, I got into UPenn, and it looks like they're also inviting me to come in February. I'm going to be everywhere. Oh my god, I forgot to tell you about UChicago. I already got into UChicago, but they want me to come too. And it looks like they want me to come like the day before UPenn. There's a lot going on right now. So far, a breakdown. I've heard back from all six, but I've officially been admitted to UPenn and UChicago. In terms of like interviews left, I have a actual formal interview at Iowa next week. And then later I have like a less informal interview at UT Austin. And then I'm also going to visit UChicago as an admitted student. And then I'm also gonna visit UPenn as an admitted student. So yeah, this is really exciting. I got into UPenn. We're gonna go visit if, if I can work this out because the schedule's looking crazy. So I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see. Hello everyone. I'm actually in Iowa right now for the Iowa visit, and I was chilling. It's like before our dinner, I was relaxing, and then all of a sudden I see an email from U of H, and I was kind of worried because it didn't say like congratulations or anything. I wish I would have, because I thought I probably didn't get in, so I just pressed it. I was like, oh, whatever, but we got in. Essentially, it's another like informal acceptance that'll turn into a formal acceptance. So yay, this is my first psychology program that I got accepted to. So now I have some even more options to consider. But yay, I got into my first psychology program. It's in Houston, where I'm from, which is like one of the main reasons that I'm really considering it. Just a little update, super exciting. Um, I haven't even started my Iowa interviews yet, but I'm in Iowa. And we'll see about this as well. This is another psychology program, but yeah.
Hello everyone, it's me. I'm back. It's February 15th. It's a Thursday. I wanted to give a quick update because I feel like a lot happened and the last time I vlogged was this past weekend in Iowa. And so yeah, the Iowa trip went really well. Visited the psychology department. There was one professor in particular that I think my interest matches super well with out of like anyone I've ever talked to. Iowa obviously has its pros and cons, but so does all of my school options. And then so during that time, you guys know I got into the University of Houston for psychology. That's a really good program. I'm from Houston, really nice option to have. And also during that time, I didn't tell you guys, I got into a master's of science. So a master's degree at Villanova, which is the school I did research over the summer at. And that was kind of supposed to be like, I guess my safety slash like options to have. Definitely will probably decline that because I already have some PhD options. And all this was happening like during the interview days. And so I never had time to just like pull out my phone and just awkwardly react to it. Oh, also, so this, this week, so this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I've been talking with Northwestern faculty. I was supposed to go in person for my interview, but it was the same time this past weekend as the University of Iowa. And so I've also been talking to Northwestern people for interview and their department as a whole, I match with really well. Like I honestly match a little bit with every single faculty. And so I'd say Northwestern is good in terms of like overall department fit. And Iowa was good in terms of like a very specific person that I could see myself working with. And so yeah, lots of things to consider. So. I guess like an update is I got into four programs, Masters of Science in Villanova, University of Houston Psychology, UPenn Linguistics, and U Chicago Linguistics. And I'm waiting for three more. I'm waiting for the University of Iowa Psychology, UT Austin Psychology, and Northwestern Linguistics. And then in two weeks I have like three in-person visits and so that's when I'll like pick up the camera and maybe start recording then. Um, it's for like an admitted students thing so I'm gonna go to UPenn and U Chicago but then I'm also going to UT Austin but not as, a, as an admitted student. It's like one more final interview at UT Austin. And so by the time March 2nd or 3rd comes, I'll be completely done. Thank God. It's kind of overwhelming right now, but I know that like, I only have to deal with this for the month of February. Okay, okay hello everyone. Um, I told you guys I was gonna update you when I go. I told you guys I was gonna update you when I go on my visits, but I got an email from one of the professors at Iowa, the professors that I matched really well with in terms of like research interests and they said and in like the subject line it says good news and so i think i know what this is gonna be but i can finally whip out my phone but i'm gonna call my laptop and we're gonna see what's going on at iowa good news from iowa i'm pressing the message Hi, Janae. Thank you so much for visiting last week. It was great to meet you in person. I have some great news to share with you. You have been accepted to the PhD program at Iowa. Woo Yay. We did it. Everyone really enjoyed meeting you and felt like you'd be a good fit for my lab. I'm super excited about the possibility of having you come to Iowa. I think your research overlaps with mine and I'm really excited for this uh, opportunity. And then they talk about being guaranteed funding for five years and whatnot. But yay, new update. We got into, I can't even keep track anymore. I think I got into five programs, two psychology PhDs, two linguistics PhDs, one psychology masters, and then I'm just waiting for Northwestern and UT Austin. Hello everyone, today is, I think, February 28th. It's Wednesday and this morning I just got back from the U Chicago visit. And I also got back from the U Penn visit. I got back from that on Saturday morning, but then Sunday I went to U Chicago and then now I'm back today. So I had finished two visits, U Chicago and U Penn. I had already had admitted, so it was just kind of me getting to the department. Learned a lot of good information. Nothing too surprising. It, both programs were kind of what I expected, but I guess it was a good time to like meet the grad students and see the spaces in person. But tomorrow, not tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, actually, 
I leave for my last interview. This one's an interview, it's UT Psychology. This is like the third round of interviews, so I'm assuming that I will probably get in because, I don't know, psychology does things differently, but it, it would be kind of weird unless something really odd happens. The crazy thing though, is that right now I'm just waiting for Northwestern Linguistics and then obviously UT Psychology. During class, I got a notification from Northwestern um, basically saying that they made a decision. And I decided to like look away real quick so that I can, I guess, open it on camera. <laughs> but yeah. So I whipped out my computer and I'm gonna open it on here. Let's show you the graduate school. This email is to notify that a decision has been rendered. Via your decision later. Dear Janae, it is with great pleasure that I write to inform you that as a result of your outstanding academic credentials, strong application, the way they're hedging this so much, and promise as a future thought leader, you have been admitted to the graduate school at Northwestern to linguistics PhD program for fall. Warmest congratulations on the significant achievement. Ooh, we got in. I got into all the linguistics program I applied to. Granted, it was only three, but we did it. So now I'm only waiting for UZ Austin. Great. Here's my letter. Let's look at some funding. Not too bad. Cool. All right, we got in. We got in. This is exciting. One more to go. Hello everyone. We are officially back. It's been a while. The last time I vlogged was UT Austin interview, and that was March 1st, and it is now Monday, March 18th. Sorry I didn't record much after that because I had like a week back from school, and then I just got back from spring break. And so today's like the Monday after spring break. Basically, I have my final result for my final school, which is UT Austin. And honestly, I got that like, four days after my visit. It was like March 4th and it wasn't anything too special because the PI of the lab just like emailed me real quick. It was like, yeah, we're just gonna tell them to admit you. This is kind of informal. And then I got the formal letter over spring break. I never have time to like record my reactions because they just tell me I got in, in like the subject of the email and it takes away all the fun. But yeah, that was my last result. And I'm officially done with the entire application process Thank goodness. Honestly, I was very successful. This feels sort of unreali unrealistic. Oh, I applied to seven programs total, six PhDs, one master's, and I got into all of them. This is, I feel like this is kind of rare, ex extremely rare. I won't, I guess, get into how exactly this happened. Maybe this will be another video about how I went through the process and actually applied. It's been a ride. It's been a lot of interviews. I've been working on this application since the summer and I put a lot of effort into it and it it definitely paid off and now it's time to make a decision it's march 18th and i have until march 15th to decide where i'm going to grad school i don't know it's really hard because no matter where i go if i pick randomly right now i'll be fine and all the programs are really good and the people in the programs are really good and so this is a good place to be at where i have just a lot of good options you won't necessarily know where i'm going yet maybe i'll make a video about the process and the decision later but Thanks for watching this. If it's me watching from the future, great job. Hopefully you picked a good, you definitely did. You picked a good grad program and you, I guess are working on your PhD now. So good job. And yeah, that, that's, that's my video. This feels anticlimactic, but yeah, thanks for watching, I guess. Bye.